Hey everyone, Ruben here with respshop.com. Today, we're going to talk about the differences between a CPAP and a BiPAP machine. Specifically, we will discuss the nuts and bolts of how both of these types of machine actually works to treat sleep apnea. The differences between manual CPAP, automatic CPAP, and BiPAP devices, and why you might want to use one over the other. And then we'll finish by taking a quick look at some of the most popular models on the market today in both the CPAP and BiPAP categories, including their features and costs. So let's get into it. So firstly, before we even start, please do hit that like and subscribe button. It really makes a difference to the channel so we can continue to make these videos for you guys. Okay, now let's set the scene by talking about sleep apnea in general. Sleep apnea is a sleeping disorder in which breathing repeatedly stops and starts. Obstructive sleep apnea, the most common form of sleep apnea, occurs when the muscles at the back of your throat relax. When the muscles relax, then your airway narrows or even closes as you breathe in, which in turn means that you don't inhale enough air. Your brain senses this closure and briefly wakes you up in order to reopen the airway. This process is usually so quick that you don't even remember it. But for someone suffering with sleep apnea, this could be happening anywhere from five to 30 times an hour, all night long, every single night, prohibiting you from having deep restful phases of sleep. Symptoms of sleep apnea could include snoring loudly, or waking up regularly with a headache and dry mouth, or even waking up gasping for breath. Or if you have difficulty staying asleep, insomnia, or excessive daytime sleepiness, hypersomnia, and you don't have a newborn in your house, then you should consider getting a sleep study done either through your clinic or by taking the in-home sleep study available at respshop.com. Either way, once you've completed the study, you'll need to have your doctor provide you with a prescription in order to purchase a CPAP, BiPAP, or any other positive air pressure device. Now, let's assume that you have your prescription in hand and you're now in the market to purchase your first device. Great, well now what? It can be daunting when you look at the amount of options available to you. There's CPAP, BiPAP, APAP, VPAP, not to mention the accessories to go with them like humidifiers, on here and in here, masks, hoses, it can be overwhelming. Before you know it, it can begin to sound more like you're equipping yourself to work in a nuclear reactor rather than simply wanting a good night's sleep. But fear not, let's break down how each type of device works so you can determine the best fit for your needs. And the best way to do this is to start by focusing on what all the machine types have in common, and that is the PAP part of their name. Now, whether we're talking about CPAP, BiPAP, APAP, or any other PAP in fact, the PAP portion of the name stands for positive air pressure. With all of these machine types, pressurized air is generated via a compressor within the unit housing, which then travels through an air filter, up the hose and into a cushion mask that covers either just your nostrils, your whole nose, or a full mask that is shaped like a triangle and covers your nose and mouth. Most machines also include a humidifier that prevents your nose and mouth from drying out. Now the most common type of positive air pressure machine is a CPAP machine. The C of CPAP stands for continuous. So a CPAP machine is a machine that provides this positive air pressure continuously. Effectively, the machine pushes a gentle but steady flow of air into your nose and mouth as you sleep. This keeps your airway open and helps you breathe normally. A CPAP machine is usually prescribed for those with obstructive sleep apnea or infants whose lungs have not fully developed. Within the category of CPAP machines, there could be either what we at Resp Shop would describe as a manual CPAP machine, where the amount of air pressure delivered is dictated by the machine's settings and is set at a consistent rate, or an automatic CPAP machine, also known as an APAP machine. These devices can detect whether an airway is open or closing by measuring resistance and can then increase or decrease the amount of pressure necessary to resolve the sleep apnea, which means they deliver the minimum amount of pressure necessary where possible. Both automatic or manual CPAP machines are often described under the umbrella term of simply CPAP machines. The BI of BiPAP stands for bi-level. So these machines work in much the same way as a CPAP device would, except there are two levels of air pressure, one for inhaling and one for exhaling. These machines also monitor the user's breaths per minute, BPM, and may be set to deliver a breath where needed so that a minimum BPM is met. 
BiPAP machines are often prescribed to those who need extra respiratory support or for patients with additional conditions such as congestive heart failure or neurological medical disorders. BiPAP machines are typically more expensive and are often recommended when users struggle with the continuous pressure of CPAP, as the bilevel pressure of BiPAP decreases strain on the body during exhalation. Put simply, BiPAP machines make it easier to breathe out. So those are the differences between the machines. Now back to you and your shopping. When you're purchasing any type of machine, typically everything you need to get started will come included in the box, except the mask, because there are different options for those. This is the new ResVent iBreeze machine, which is an auto CPAP machine. This is the updated model to an already popular line and is a great option for those who want a simple to use device with some great automation features that will give you an excellent experience out of the box. The screen is bright and easy to read. Navigation is simple and the device is rated at 30 dBA, which is as quiet as a ticking clock or a soft whisper. Restshop.com currently has these on a great intro price, which makes them a good option as a secondary or a backup machine. For more information, you can watch an in-depth review video we've made on our YouTube channel, or click the link in the description below for current pricing. Now moving on, let's compare that to a BiPAP machine. This is the ResMed Air Curve 10. This device is a premier VPAP machine and represents the top of the line among bi-level devices. Now don't be thrown when you hear me saying VPAP instead of BiPAP. VPAP and BiPAP are the same thing. BiPAP was simply a term owned by Respironics who were acquired by Philips, so VPAP is simply the ResMed brand name for the same technology. Like all BiPAP devices, the Air Curve is designed to make breathing with a PAP device as comfortable as possible, with features such as automatic bi-level treatment, which will have the pressure at its most comfortable level, but can determine when the user is having a respiratory disturbance and adjust pressure accordingly, and expiratory pressure relief, EPR, which decreases pressure at the onset of each breath. BiPAP units typically have a greater amount of technology and therefore have a higher cost of purchase. But RespShop is your go-to online retailer for some of the most competitive pricing available, as well as a wealth of information from industry experts. So contact us today if you have any questions about any of the units we sell or to discuss your sleep therapy. Okay guys, well, that does it for me today. I hope you learned something about the differences of these machines. Comment below if you already own a PAP machine and let us know what you do or don't like about it. If you like this video, if it was helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you want to chat about what we've covered today, then give us a call or visit our site and wherever you are, sleep tight. Till next time.